It's going to be another dominant performance. She's going to be just outside the two minutes and she's going to win. Tamsin, congratulations. You won the trials. Now you just got to chase the time. How are you feeling? Well, I'm feeling a lot better than I felt last um, meet that was down here at Peak. At least I'm out here competing. So, no, I feel really good. I just uh, possibly need a few things to fall into my hands. And uh, coming off the last bend, it just felt a bit like running into a wall with that wind? Oh, it was like the bear jumped on my back. It was pretty strong, but I feel fit. I don't feel like I lost my form. I just felt like I was running on the spot a bit. So, it's all right. It'll, you know, when the conditions are better, I'm sure a, a faster time will come. I was a bit surprised at how slow it was. It felt better. And you've got a good, uh, good roar from the home crowd? Yeah, they're fantastic. You know, I've really enjoyed running in front of the Melbourne crowd for the past 15 years. So I think this is my 15th year at the Melbourne Grand Prix in a row. So next year I'll be on your side of the fence, hopefully, and cheering on the, the girls as they run two flat. Fantastic. Good luck chasing the time. That 159.9, I'm yeah. sure it's coming. Yeah, I want 158. So 159.8 will be good, but then we want yeah. 158. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. I think everyone's being a little bit uh, worried about you know this being the selection trials and you know worrying about having A's and so forth, but we do still have discretion. Well, I hope they do pick the athletes on discretion. I know I won't be one of them. I'm apparently old and on the way out, but fingers crossed they saw how I ran last night in those conditions and see that I'm heading in the right direction and pick me, but if not, I'll put my head back down and I'll chase the A. You know, what's your plan now? Like, what's your, your mindset thinking about moving forward from here? Um, well, I'd love to see people reward the athletes that compete domestically and support the system. I think I've done that, so, and I'll continue to do that towards nationals, and then after nationals I'll head overseas. Sweet, sounds good. Do you know where your first port of call is? Uh, no, Melbourne Airport will be the start, and then from there, wherever it takes me. Mm -hmm.